Hey team, I'm down here in Berry Reserve, almost six months since the Wurlu bushfires, and I cannot believe how much this landscape has changed in that time. When, when our team was here last, there, there was nothing but fir trees, debris, charcoal, there was absolutely nothing. There were no bird life, and coming on almost six months later, you can see that there's grass trees absolutely thriving all around me. You know, there's grasses coming through, there's bird life back everywhere. You know, we've got this amazing sort of creek now that has come through obviously after the, the really dry summer and, our, and the, a lot of the rain that we've had. And so this area is really starting to come back on, on alive again. And you know, we just want to put a you know, heartfelt thanks out to all the people that were involved in the animal welfare response. And we feel really honored to be a part of that. So the Department of Primary Industries and Regional Development um, and the Australian Veterinary Association coordinated a team of vets and vet nurses to come out to these spaces and not only look after wildlife, but for all animals that were affected by the bushfire. And we were very honored to have played a big part in the wildlife response. And you know, we recovered quite a number of animals and brought them back to the WA Wildlife Hospital for treatment, where a number of those animals are still in care now and will eventually be released back out into the wild. So it is really nice coming out here. Obviously these spaces are not gonna be, um, you know, back to where they were for a long time, but it is really nice to see animals starting to come back in here. So if we have a look down here, you know, we've got a lot of grasses coming through which is going to bring in a lot of our little macropods and we can actually see we've got you know kangaroo poo all around the place that's really moist and really fresh so obviously that means that we've got kangaroos coming back here all the time uh, we've got lots of little fungies all coming through and that's going to attract things like the quenders and then we've got you know all these burnt out logs like this you know this is ideal habitat for things like echidnas a lot of our reptiles that are living around here too and then like i said we've got this beautiful creek has come in obviously as a result of, of our nice big rains that we've had and that's just going to bring all sorts of bird life so over the you know the, the coming months and years you know hopefully this will return to the way it was before but that's going to take some time so it's so important that we keep a look out for wildlife if you do see wildlife that you think have been affected by the bushfires or just sick or injured in general please contact your local wildlife group and we're going to continue to help wildlife live so big heartfelt thank you to all the teams that were involved in the animal welfare response Thank you for giving wildlife a voice. And again, going forward, I'm really happy that wildlife are now gonna be factored into some of these emergency response plans. And we're gonna be really busy working with government to ensure wildlife have a really good future. So again, helping wildlife live, Berry Reserve.